Hi, it's John from Android Addicts and welcome to this battery drain test between the Exynos 2100 and the Snapdragon 888 on the Galaxy S21 series. So you can see here I'm just setting up and confirming that the screen is running at 120Hz whilst playing this video. This is actually the only video I could actually find running at 1080p and 120 frames per second on the internet so it's quite a short little clip from Battlefield 3 here but it does the job and you can, as you can see here it is running at 120 hertz. So I'm going to be using the good old floating battery widget here as well to keep an eye on the batteries for each of these phones and that will just be floating in the corner there. So I'm just going to start off the video now, try and get them synchronized if I can. And I'm going to zoom into the video slightly just to make sure that the whole of the display is active. Obviously these are OLED so any black parts of the display are not currently being powered. So I've left these both at full brightness, adaptive brightness is turned off and the brightness is set all the way to the top on both phones. They've got Wi-Fi turned on and they've got apps syncing in the background so apart from having a SIM card in this is pretty much how your phone would be during the day. So the point in this video is just to see how long each phone can last whilst doing this task. It's as fair a test as possible and this isn't meant to reflect someone's actual use of a phone, it's just trying to work out any difference between the Exynos and the Snapdragon in efficiency. Anyway, I'll unplug them from the power now and we'll get on with the test. So there we have it, I really wasn't expecting this result. Um, I'm quite used to Exynos having terrible battery life compared to Snapdragon processors, but the 2100 seems to have knocked the Snapdragon out of the park slightly. So you can see here that the Snapdragon got a total of 11 hours and 28 minutes, but the Exynos hung in there for a full 12 hours and 19 minutes, which is basically just under an hour better than the Snapdragon. So I think this was a good test really. We've now found out that the 2100 is actually 9% better than the 888. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Were you expecting this or were you thinking that the Snapdragon was going to win? Because I certainly was. So overall I was actually really impressed with both of them to be honest. I wasn't expecting them to both last throughout the night but uh, even 11 hours and 28 minutes is, is a great score. Don't forget it was 120 hertz refresh rate with a video playing at 120 frames per second so it's pretty good. Don't forget they're on full brightness as well with Wi-Fi on and, and you know things sinking in the background so they've both performed really well but the Exynos has certainly uh, won this one by quite a way. I will be doing some proper power drain tests at some point. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got some great FPS benchmarks coming out very soon. We've got Genshin Impact and I'm going to be doing PUBG and COD Mobile as well so those should be out within the next few days. If you want to become a member of the channel then click on the join button and that really helps out. And again thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.